Yo, yo, yo. What's up, everybody? Who's all here? We got Caliber, Monstar. Thank you for sharing that out. Clinton, Demon Joker. How's everybody doing? Share it out. Let's see what's, who's out there tonight. And I'm going to do a couple things today. Show you the progress of everything that got planted. And we're going to pick some of this oregano. Because that definitely needs picked. So we're going to put a little collecting bowl there. And some of this lemon thyme right there. And right there, it's time to pick. But while we're in the herb garden, you see the uh, clematis blooming. And there you have it. Elfie, thank you so much. Thank you so much. There's the clematis. I'm not big into flowers. But there you see what happens when those bloom. If you saw the thumbnail. Holy crap, this one just exploded with flowers. Natural selection. Wah, 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 wah. What will die, what will live. <laughs> look at those things. Holy hell. I'm not big into flowers, like I said. But look at the hell what's happening here. Those are going to climb all the way up and give me some more blockage here, but that's just one hell of a start. Now you can see in each of the, the planters, we have cilantro in the back. So we get two plants of cilantro right there and there. And those will get really big, turn into a bush. Um, probably hide that flower there. Sabri's in the house, good to see you. And then up front we have curl parsley. So we got this parsley here and here that's already growing. And the one right next to it, you see four basil plants along with a marigold, sunshine marigold. <laughs> and like I said, this is our lemon thyme that we'll be collecting today. We're going to gather up a little bit of this. Lemon thyme, it smells amazing. Like lemon, of course. <laughs> We'll be picking some of that as well to dry that out and make uh, herb herbage for cooking as well as that. And speaking of cooking, I'm going to need some extra grill recipes from you there, Sean Shamrock, Mr. Chef, because somebody just bought a new grill. Oh, it ain't on my mouth, though. Not a gold grill, but I got myself a, a nice brand new grill there that we will be cooking with this year outside. It's too damn nice to not be cooking outside. So here is what's going on in the garden. Planting box number one, we have little marigolds in the corners. You see how all the onions are coming through. So we got plenty of onions soon to be picked. And you can see some of them starting to get more white as they climb, they get bigger. Not even close to picking yet, but these are pepper plants. Those are banana pepper, banana pepper. And I got a couple green peppers there as well in between all these onions. Now, eventually all the onions will be picked out first and we'll make onion powder. But right now, here's what we got going on inside here. We got banana, sweet banana peppers, two on the outside. And we have some Better Bell's uh, green peppers on the inside. Used to plant like seven or eight of those things, but no need to do that much. <laughs> God bless him. Here we go. All right. Now in the second planter, a bunch more onions still, which we will be replacing them with something at some point. Once again, a couple marigolds in the corner. You can see them starting to bloom a little bit, getting ready to pop out. And then we have calarads, kohlrabi whatever you want to call them. Us hunkies just call them calorats. Cabbage apples, what I like to call them. We'll have a couple of those and a whole bunch of them down here. But eventually, that's what they'll look like. A little bit bigger than the size of a baseball, closer to the size of a softball. And they are like a cabbage apple, basically. It's a pretty good explanation. But we have a bunch of those here, along with the onions still growing. And in the corner here, what's happening? Everybody stopping in, popping out. Good to see you. Make yourself known. There's more kohlrabi, and we have cucumber on this side. So these four right here, one, two, three, four. God, it's a pain's in the house. Those four are cucumbers, so hopefully they do well. They will climb up this trellis 
and hopefully make it all the way over to the back fence and keep growing. And we might have some big fat cucumbers to make cucumber salad or something. Um, or, because we have the onions, we have the tomatoes, so a nice cucumber salad could be in order. Or there'll be pickles. <laughs> well, here I see some. This is what I'll do is go around and pick all the little things that don't belong out. Goddess is coming down for some salad. And we have, I've talked about it before, Blade Charge, Demented, Goddess of Pain. Those that are closest to me here in the Pittsburgh area. We're going to pick on any of these things that I put preen in there to make it be a little better but still getting these little weeds and grass and bullshit growing in there so we're gonna pick all those out doesn't belong jokers in the house good to see a joker but some of the onions are doing good when you see the white at the bottom some of the onions like that one ain't doing so well so we got just like the title says what's gonna die and we're gonna find out. Something's already biting into my. I do have some food I need to feed this stuff. There's Riley Wolf. There's Riley Wolf. So I will be uh, feeding. We got some plant food to help them grow some miracle grow that I'll throw together. And we'll sprinkle all over this shit. Hopefully, make it better. Now we're flower row, which is coming through pretty good. You see them starting to bloom. I'm hoping they're the ones that really full out, fill out round. Because some of them will do that. See how that one's just spreading out? I'm not really a huge fan of that. Had ones like these before marigolds that look like big yellow bulbs and they were awesome. Uh oh, rebranding, rebranding. You can see all the flowers along the side working itself out. Good to see everybody stopping by. Make sure you guys. Hit the thumbs up, share it out if you can. Our grass growing project. I got a little more serious with it. So that grass, actually the grass from here up never would grow. That's why I have the artificial grass. And this as well. Did a little, uh, Fixing of the grass over there, but look at this shit. It's trying to grab the tree. Grapevine doing well. Shulky, where's Shulky? Everything dies sooner or later. <laughs> so these branches we have to train. Ooh, little spiders everywhere. I don't know if you guys can see all them little spiders. We got a lot of little red spiders here. We're gonna train this to grow that way. So see this one needs to go that way. Otherwise, it doesn't turn into an actual bush like we're looking at, but this is all grapevine. You can see the little grapes starting to grow. There you go, come on. Focus, focus power. There it is, little grapes starting to grow all through here. There's a better look. Like I said before, the birds normally pick away at these things, man. They're already starting to grow all the way out to here and all the way up to there. And eventually, I did do something different this year. Down here, we got a marigold, marigold, marigold. So we got a couple flowers down there, hopefully to bloom and bring us more of the grapevine doing pretty well. Tried to use grape leaves to wrap and make food before, but it's not really something I enjoy. <laughs> so this should grow all the way along this pipe, pipe here. And right into my tree that, uh, well, I can't get this out of now. About a year or two, I guess it's grown right through it. This used to sit in between the tree. <laughs> there goes that idea. My little groundhog friend lives in that hole. Hopefully he doesn't come out messing anything. My neighbors didn't cut their grass very well, but what I did was I used all the extra grass clippings to make my own hay. 
and replanted this grass here again, hoping it will do a lot better. Extra garden phase two, I guess. Phase one was uh, when I got all the plants, I was about to put them in. Just a little bit of growth. We'll have tomato trellises, pepper trellises when that comes through. There's machete. Everyone's gone to the garden. You know you're alone. I don't remember how it goes. Your friends are not at home. Everyone is gone to the garden. <laughs> now we got herbals growing here. And then we'll drink a beer. All the birdies shitting in my garden. All right, let's, let's take care of some business here. We have a very, 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 very big. Let's try to get this sucker set up somewhere so I can do this job. All right. Oregano, time to uh, take care of the old oregano. So we'll just clip pieces off like this. Throw them in the bowl. We'll tear these off later on, kind of like this, bottom up. Oop, that didn't work so well. Just peeling everything off. I'm not good with this way. Then you have oregano. So I'll cut most of these that are sticking up over the edge first of all. Hope everyone's having a good day. Hope everyone's chilling. Got a dozen people up in here checking out the old garden. Stuff to grow below it. And this bush just keeps on coming back. Not a lot of bugs. I do spray it with, uh, there's Wally. Can look into the trees. <laughs> you can look, but you don't see flowers. Seems to tease you at the garden. First band I was in, our singer wanted to be Axl Rose. But he didn't do a very good job of imitating him. Dude could sing, he just drug out all the words and shit too much try to sound like Axel, where we weren't really a cover band, we were making our own music. Big Axel head, by the way. <laughs> Good to see everybody. Birds, yeah, you hear the birds there, Wally? We have uh, a lot of different birds here in southwestern Pennsylvania. I get ridiculous pigeons here, which I can't stand. Cassie on the Kindle doesn't let you chat. Oh, wah, 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 wah. an air band show of GNR. There you go. So I'm gonna collect a bunch of this oregano. And I, I've told you guys this before, but this oregano bush, as it is, <laughs> I haven't planted in a couple years. There's Damien. Wally's in the house. Good to see you. Everybody's saying hi to Cassie. But trying to get all of this is a pain. And like I said, to cut it not too low. To where it can keep growing back. Sometimes I used to just take a big bunch of them like this really doesn't need any rhyme or reason. These some bitches will grow right back. Yeah, I start out being real intricate about it and careful. And I'm just like, screw it. Cut all the oregano out. 
Who else is in the building here? Monstar. Look for Mr. Miyagi trimming the bonsai tree. <laughs> well, that'll be more like when I do this. This big bush right here, I need to get the ladder out and trim it. Chikara Project. What's happening, K Kajiru uh, Project? I don't know how to say that there, sir. This is my home garden. I just show everybody what goes down. No, Rex is not allowed here, Wally. You're a funny man. I'm doing well. We'll call you Cage. How you doing, Cage? Good to see you, my friend. It's been a while. We're doing garden action today. We're going to uh, keep pruning this big song, Bielch. If I can get this camera set up a little better. And then we're going to attack this little guy. So that is... Um, you can see him at that clematia back there. It does sound a little bit too much like female genitalia, but we're not talking about female genitalia. We're talking about those flowers. <laughs> so we're hammering away on this uh, oregano bush. I'm, I'm having problems with my camera. I need a cameraman. Let's see if that does it again. Thursday, LTD, 8 p.m. tomorrow night. You got it right. So, um, oregano, Sean. Anything out there you can help tell people what to do with? Obviously, with my... Now, I, the only thing I didn't talk about was the, uh... The grape tomatoes that I have back there. Or cherry tomatoes, I think they are. I try to get grape ones. I get cherry ones every year. They're a little bigger. But the small tomatoes, the cherry tomatoes, will go in with the onions with hopefully some cucumber. I didn't do zucchini. I love zucchini, breaded zucchini, fried zucchini. Any way you, you cook it, zucchini I used to put in my salsa. I would make a salsa with basically anything. Oregano is awesome. What do you use it for, uh, Elfie? I need to see you guys. I need to get one of those things where you kneel on, like gardeners can kneel on when they're in the garden. And probably one of those really cool uh, phone stands that kind of hook on to everything there we go you are like a part of my body now the phone you guys are an extension of me as i trim this mexican oregano is the best what's the difference and i have it on a tripod a selfie stick tripod right now but they have those ones that kind of grip um now you can probably get a better idea to see what i'm doing here to clip right low but not too low to where there's still more petals of oregano so what is what do you guys use your oregano for anyone out there that uses oregano i'm curious and more specifically lemon thyme because i do use that in my allspice um i don't, I don't know if like you know it's starting to flower i definitely need to hit that up so anything you guys do with oregano I'm down, always down this show. I'm, I'm a novice. I have no clue what I'm doing. I've learned by uh, hand-me-down information from my grandmother and other people that garden, my mother, and watching YouTube videos, basically. I know because of the pandemic, a lot of people started watching YouTube videos, working from home. Um, I guess I got a head start on that. <laughs> but we are just knocking this sucker down to about pot level and like I said I was nervous doing this the first time because I thought it wouldn't grow back but sure enough big time oregano about everything um lemon thyme that's another one I really if anyone has any suggestions what to do with lemon thyme I'm all for it this is a a learning program man if you're a novice gardener or you want to start dude all you need is some dirt and some plants it's really uh, that one I cut too low there was no flowers below. Yeah, I did hear that while the AEW going to TBS in 2022, and they have a new show called Rampage they're bringing for Friday nights at 10 o'clock. So, goddess, you're going to have some uh, for your Friday night show in 2022 if you're still doing it. Hopefully you are. You're going to have some uh, competition in an AEW show. AEW Rampage. I think it's supposed to be a one-hour show is also going to start on TNT and then go to TBS, which, if you want to talk wrestling for a minute, I would say 
what the hell happens to the TNT championship when that whole show moves to TBS? TBS. We're just oregano blended in olive oil and garlic. Oregano is more leaf and flowery. I am oregano. I'm all Mexican oregano. Okay. Well, this one, like I said, I'll take these. And now I'll take the, flower, the leaves off completely, throw away the stems, and just uh, dry them out. The oregano, I don't. I use an air fryer, which is pretty cool for some of the herbs to dry out. If you don't know, you can actually use an air fryer to dry out herbs. Actually cooks a really good steak, too. I was very surprised when I got an air fryer and made a steak in it. All right, so we're getting about halfway done. As you can see, the difference on how much of this uh, oregano. Goulash. I was working in the lab late one night making goulash. Just makes me think of that song for some reason. <laughs> um, lemon thyme is definitely the one that I'm not sure what to do with. But I know it smells freaking great. And I do have, uh, what kind of sage is that again? I always think, I can't remember. It's a, uh, Flavored sage, I guess. Talk and laugh without hurting before you're back. Oh, I got you, hon. Pasta, yeah, oregano and pasta sauces. I know that much. But lemon thyme, that's the one I'm looking for recipes or ideas for. Because I have these little bushes here I'll be trimming in a moment. As soon as I finish off with all this oregano. Like I said, I used to buy oregano plants every year. And um, then the one year I didn't take it out of this planter and thought it was all dead. However, next spring, this song, Biatch, came right back. There's a nice big one. Prime, prime example of what I'm looking for right there. A whole bunch of oregano. Not the biggest leaves, but if you let them go too far and they start to flower or bolt, as they call some of them, uh, my onions, I'll probably get to show you a couple bolting onions if no one knows what that means. They start to flower and seed too early. And I don't know why I'm learning as I go, like I said, so too much water, it could be, um, not enough dirt. I'm not sure, I'm not really sure why they bolt, because then it's not gonna grow as well. Awesome show, thanks man, it was fun. Last night was fun, all for, except for Alpha winning. <laughs> Been good, hammer out the rest of this one, the big ones. Burned shit all over that one, that's why another reason why we will be washed. I do put um, one, anti-bug spray on this stuff so with some pesticide on it make sure to wash off your herbs before you dry them out sometimes i do skip that part which isn't good you should always wash them especially if you use any types of pesticides or anything to keep the bugs off who else is here Goulash. What's goulash? What exactly is goulash there, Elfie? You might have to explain what that is, because we're all learning here. It just doesn't sound very tasty. <laughs> Makes me think of a gulag. You can see down here, or maybe you can't. You probably can't. There we go. I'm gonna take everything off the edge. It doesn't have to be perfect. They'll grow back. People make mistakes. Plants make mistakes. We all make mistakes. It's how you deal with them that matters. And how you react to them. Something dies. Something doesn't work out. Keep at it. Till it does. Or it works the way you want it to. You know what I'm saying? So we are just cutting this biatch down. You see some of the ones that are really tall. And 
So back to the drying out process for the herbs. Um, now, onion, onion I will use the air fryer for, and it dries out the onion nicely. Elbow noodle spaghetti sauce, and any vegetables, a lot of different goulash. Sounds like pasta, or pasta, as Sean likes to call it. Here, my Maddie, I guess, I guess that's how you say it up in Canada, pasta. <laughs> So when you want someone to pass you the pasta, do you say pass me the pasta? You pass it around, is that what you call it, pasta? Maybe there ain't not a lot of Italians in Canada, I'm not sure. <laughs> or maybe I'm pronouncing it right, wrong by saying pasta, I don't know. To each their own, right? Tomato, tomato, all that good stuff. Hope everyone's doing good today. We have some bugs in the oregano too, so definitely need to wash this off. Definitely. All right, now we get the rest of the corner here and we'll be done with the oregano and we'll go to the oh, I'll go too low. We'll go over to the uh, lemon thyme and clean one of those out for you while I'm on the air. I appreciate you guys stopping by. It is a completely different stream than my channel is used to. I don't know of any other channel that does pro wrestling and gardening. So that's kind of unique, right? Yeah, you get the two different versions of your boy Blaze here. More relaxed, chill here. It's a beautiful day. It's like 80 degrees. What's it like where you guys are at today? What's the weather like where you're at? Today we've had a good bit of sunshine. I could use a little rain with all these plants in here, to be honest. But I'll continue to water them as well. And we'll come back in a couple weeks, maybe sooner. And I might be doing this again. <laughs> Just because this thing loves to grow and, I don't know, it was, I told the story a while back on one of my garden streams that one of my friends that lives in the nearby mountains, just a couple miles away, cook out at his house when we were younger and uh, right by his grill, he used to have a bunch of herbs. So as he's making the steaks on the grill, he would reach down, grab some cilantro, reach down, grab some oregano, crumble it up, put it on the steaks. So fresh herbs uh, while cooking steaks. I'll be doing that this year since I have this little area right next to my new grill. I haven't had an outdoor, outdoor grill in a few years since my last one broke. I probably didn't take care of it well enough, to be honest. But to be able to season your steak, your hamburgers, anything naturally with a plant right next to it, I think it's pretty damn cool. And you get the freshness, the flavor, like I said, people, if you want to cook your own food, you want to grow your own food, uh, the terms self-sustainability, easy for me to say, gets thrown around more and more nowadays. A lot of people panicked during the pandemic and thought they need to hoard toilet paper and water and know how to survive without the grocery store for as long as you can. <laughs> more bird shit. Um, it's not why I did this, but definitely would help if, if I ever need to grow my own food. But unfortunately, like the title says, I don't have great success with my garden. Like, oh, I used to plant 
five or six tomato plants and only get a couple tomatoes. What about you guys? Anybody out there have their own garden? What do you plant? Always up for tips, tricks, ideas, recipes, different types of herbs, vegetables not as much, uh, with my bad stomach, the raw vegetables and my, my pico de gallo or salsa, as I, it's a pico de gallo more than a salsa than I used to make. Um, I haven't made in a few years. Maybe this year, since my health has gotten a little better, I might make it. Might be able to eat some of it. Used to have a, a fantasy football draft at my house. And they started to really enjoy the, uh, the salsa that I was making. But I stopped making it for a while. So there we go. If you tuned into the beginning of the show... Elbow noodle spaghetti sauce. Oh, yeah. There. Oh, shit. Hamburger, meat, cream and mushroom, green beans, corn, peas. Holy shit. Mom's maiden is Matrangelo. Huh? Feels like I'm looking at my bird bath. That's my bird bath. House of X is in the house. Good to see you guys. 82 in beauty. Yeah, you're an hour north of me. You're not that far away. 68 in cold. Sorry, Alfie. It's like summer here. Love tomatoes with my stomach. Yeah, exactly, Alfie. I'll tell you one thing, Alf, that I learned um, actually from a YouTube video. Yellow tomatoes. So here's what we got, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, I brought up, oh, I brought up Italians. That's right. I didn't know if there was too many Italians up in Canada because you guys were saying pasta. <laughs> Is it another thing that Canadians like to pronounce the wrong syllable of words? Like if the the emphasis is normally on the first syllable, they might say it on the second or third. Is that like a Canadian thing? Now there's my big bowl of oregano. I will take all those leaves off of there. Sabri's walking. Uh-oh, I don't know where you're walking to. So that's part number one that I wanted to do today. And you see those flowers blooming like a biatch back there. It's amazing. So now we're going to come here and take care of this bush. Now if you look close enough here, if I can get this camera close enough, I don't know if you can see, but if I can get it to focus. Okay, see the little colorful, I don't know, blue or purple or what it is. Elfie, those, I had, all I wanted, all I wanted was something to cover. See how you can see their pool right there? And they're great neighbors, don't get me wrong. 86 down in... West, by God, Virginia. I wanted something that climbed this trellis to give me more privacy. You put your weed in it, in this bowl. Oh, camera, face reveal, psych. And um, I found clematis, which is supposed to climb up, definitely. Like I said before, my dad always says it. You planted what? Sounds like a lady's JJ. No, not a clitoris clematis, oh boy. <laughs> color, killer, color, and can the spelling different? Okay, I got you. But I just wanted cover for this trellis. But now, my goodness, those flowers look amazing. I'm guessing that's purple. I don't know. I'm partially colorblind. But here, as I was saying, in this, you can see the little colors. Those are flowers, and that means it's growing too much. We got to trim that shit down. We do not want that. All right, so here's our next order of business. Is this here, I'm having trouble here. There we go. There ain't no way it's staying like that though. <laughs> but we need to really cut this sucker down. And these will grow back too. And there's, see, there's a clean couple there. And I planted other types of. Okay, let's might as well show you exactly what it is. Lemon thyme. It's about time to cut the thyme. Oh boy, thyme pun. Wait, 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 wait. We're gonna knock this sucker down as far as we can. So lemon thyme. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells amazing. 
and that's one reason why I really liked it just because of the smell of it just for the smell of it ooh 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 for the hell of it and we're gonna try to knock this sucker down as far as we can we might be able to do a group there we go don't have to be as clean my OCD kicks in a little bit and I can't do it very well ah tragedy British gamers in the building what is up what is up I'm having camera issues here folks I'm I apologize let's get a shot with the flowers in the background there we go there we go there we go so I can't see the comments as much, but I will be reading them, so don't stop. Keep commenting. Let's get us to a million comments. Yay. <laughs> see, I'm just going to get ignorant on this shit now and just grab a, like, cutting hair. Grab a big bunch and trim it down. Down. See, we say words here weird, too. British gamer in the building. Good to see everybody. Ooh, that smell. Can't you smell that smell? The smell of ass around you. <laughs> uh, I always wanted to play that song just so I could sing it that way. The smell that's around you, the smell of ass around you. Yeah, exactly. But we are just going to take big chunks out of this thing now to get this over and done with as you can see the science of it isn't really to a T. but i appreciate you guys um i thought about doing another family feud stream soon depending on how i feel later on tonight maybe i don't know those were cool streams just for me to sit back and have you guys try to guess the answers with me they yeah, were almost done with this guy Bunch them all up, cut them down, give you a nice little haircut. I'm gonna trim your afro. See, now I'm getting too specific when these ones don't need trimmed. And it's gonna make it harder for me to get the leaves off of those. So there you have it. Now one down. The old timey time time. Trox, thanks, brother. Here, hey, thanks for the super chat. I always want to go into my house of Exxon because Leo does it. We got a super chat because we got a super chat. <laughs> it is trimmed like a Chia pet. You're right. Um, Troxel, I don't know if you saw the whole thing, but this is the herb garden. And uh, like I said, the flowers were just for coverage and they are blowing up. So we got oregano right up front here. I trimmed that already. Good to see a Travis T. You got a match coming up soon there, or Travis T. Oh, Nightmare got dirt in his eyes. We have basil in that pot plant. Uh, we have um, cilantro and parsley there. Lemon thyme up front here, which I just trimmed this other one. This is like your before and after. And this, if you guys saw earlier, was a big heap of oregano. But look at all the green still there. It'll come right back. Trim it like an elf, uh-oh. Or watch out, nightmare. It is a beautiful, how is it up there in Detroit there, uh, Trox? How is it up in the old Motor City? So this is the herb garden. Here's the damage we did today. So far, oregano, a big old bowl of oregano, and lemon thyme. And what I'll do is I'll take the basil, I'll take the oregano, I'll take the lemon thyme, I'll take the parsley, and I'll grind it all up, dry it out, and make my own allspice trying to get away from salting things a lot, sugar things a lot. 68 and cut, 85 and sunny up in Detroit. The Midwest is getting the shitty weather then. And Rosemary, we talked about Rosemary before. She's a lovely lady. <laughs> no, I'm, um, rosemary chicken, I'm a fan of. I don't really know. It's like, a, it's like a Christmas tree, for goodness sakes. I mean, this also has keep growing back. I need to probably get a new one next year, but rosemary, any ideas for rosemary? I'm up for it. Um, make sure you guys check out Troxel Sports Talk tonight. Yeah, you're beating the stand out the punching bag. Hell yeah. Um, 
Travis T. Got a win the other night. If you check out that show from, uh, I believe it was Tuesday. Or no, Saturday. Saturday in the park. I think it was the 4th of July. Troxel had a fight the other day. Yeah, well, I think the one recipe I saw, and that's a good point too, Elfie, that it's like, you know, you don't want to eat these twigs, but it does give good flavor to stuff. So I think like the rosemary chicken, if you bake it and you have rosemary in there, it the, the, the kind of absorbs. I don't know if Chef Sean can verify that or not, but the main garden area, which used to be a whole bunch of tomatoes, not as much paragon. Thank you so much for stopping in, my friend, POG. So right now we have over a hundred onions. Oh, stinky breath is good. Yeah, rosemary chicken. But I don't really know what else to make rosemary with because like Susie said, Elfie said, it's these big twigs everywhere. So like I said, I'm not a big flower person, but those are all marigolds in honor of my daughter, Sunshine Marigold. <laughs> um, they are yellow, white, black, dirt. So there you go, Steeler colors. How about that truck? So there you go. Cook a steak. Ooh, rosemary with a steak. I have tons of onions I will dry out and make onion powder. Green and white onion powder. Rosemary. I tried to grow garlic. It wouldn't grow that well. I love garlic. So, yeah, all those flowers will be yellow when they pop up. We have peppers here, both banana peppers and green peppers. That will end up taking over this planter. I'm still thinking about something to plant there. I have the cucumbers and the tomatoes in the back left garlic rocks. I mean, people talk about garlic and onion stinking. I love it. I'm, give me garlic and onion breath all day long. <laughs> and I will put garlic in anything. Sean's had some great recipes with uh, with garlic. Just adds shit tons of flavor, and that's why I love it. Um, so once I pick all the calarabs, kohlrabi, whatever you want to call them. I'm a hunky. We call them calarabs. Once again, we'll talk about these. I call them, I call them, oh, CVS sent me a text message. Ages, children ages 12 and under can now get the vaccine. There you go, for free. Cabbage apples, what, shifty. Anybody out there know what these are? Anyone out there had these before? Anyone out there know about kohlrabi, calarabs? It's a cabbage apple, basically. It's basically a cabbage apple is what I like to call it. Good to see a shifty, but that's what these are. You can see them starting to grow, starting to form at the bottom. And those will just bulb up. Bugs like to get the plants too. I got to feed and treat this garden, which is probably the, the, uh, the more ridiculous stuff that I don't like doing is taking care of it. So getting the right dirt. I see I got a good bit of ants in there too. So I may have to get some ant traps, but it is such a gorgeous day out here, man. Do don't know, but I like it with garlic and butter steamed. Huh? Goddess is drinking already, people. Goddess is already drunk and stoned, I think. <laughs> Another little weed I got to pull here. Speaking of weed, put your weed in it. I built these drains, too, to help the garden drain better. No, the cabbage apple. Oh, garlic and butter steamed. See, that's a thing. The raw kohlrabi is the way to eat it, to me. When you cook it, it tastes kind of different. So we're gonna have tons of frickin', <laughs> you hate autocorrect, tons of onions, peppers hopefully, and I'm up for suggestions. If you guys know anything you'd like me to try to grow, I'll try it. I tried, what did I say, garlic and ginger. I tried ginger root two years ago. Some of it grew, which is pretty cool, because you can buy ginger root at the grocery store and they have like different sections, like five or six sections. And you break the sections off, put them underground, and that one section will turn into five or six sections. Well, Shifty, not a lot of tomatoes this year, my friend. The only tomatoes we have here are these. And I have two plants. These are cherry tomatoes. That's another one there. Um, I accidentally gave all my tomato plants to my mother, so she has all the tomatoes over in her garden. But that's all right. I can't eat a lot of tomatoes. These tomatoes are very small tomatoes to put in salads and stuff like that. They'll grow up along this trellis and hopefully be mixing with Shifty's favorite. Big green dildos. I mean, cucumbers. 
Uh, the straight eight, hey baby. Uh, everyone likes eight inches of cucumber, right? But we have too many of these. Now, when I had zucchini plants, they got infested with bugs. The zucchinis didn't do very well, but here you go, Shifty. Cuke, cuke. Oh, a bee tried to bite me. Son of a bitch. And look, here's a, a weed growing through my carpet here. Here you go. Cucumber, 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 cucumber. And those will grow up into this trellis and along the way as well. Um, the zucchinis I love. Give me a million zucchinis. And here we go, some more weeds to pick. This does you do not belong here. Go away. You can see some of the onions still. This onion's looking good. See how it's getting white at the bottom growing up? Keep growing onions. You can do it, man. Zucchini pasta, baked zucchini, an empty flashback. Oh, no. This gave God his flashbacks, everybody. Just so you know. <laughs> why, did, why did this cucumber picture give you flashbacks, God? Come on. Story time. <laughs> More weeds, man, I need, preen, preen is what I use to try to keep the, uh, I got a miracle grow little container that I'll squirt all over this shit to make it grow better. <laughs> I'm not your average everyday gardener, but I told, like I said, folks, there is the grill. I have myself a big, huge grill now. I might as well brag about it a little bit. I put this bitch together yesterday by myself and It was on sale at Lowe's. I wanted a smaller one, but this will have to do. Yeah, baby. It's new, it's new nouveau new. It's new nouveau. So we're gonna be cooking on this bad boy. Uh, hopefully it works. I will have to put propane on it, I'm sure. But my brand new grill. Oh, putting in my grill. Not a grill for your mouth, but a grill for the food. So I'm, I can't wait to be able to, $200 at Lowe's. Here, I'll do my promotional um, for Lowe's. Lowe's, $200, this thing just went on sale. There was some, I mean, yeah, it does look like I spent a lot on it, but 200 bucks, it wasn't that bad. Um, I can't wait to be able to go over there, grab some herbs, throw them on the grill. I'm gonna have a little cookout here. Yeah, 200 bucks for this big son of a bitch. And I don't really need this, but it has, the side burner on it as well. And I always start out, I love the clean grill and it always ends up looking like shit after a year or two. So I was thinking about buying one. Have you guys ever seen those? It looks like a piece of paper. It looks like a piece of paper that goes over and you cook on it. Anybody know what that is? Heat something, it's just like a slab of skinny metal that people cook on. Yeah, I'm kind of proud of that grill. I haven't had a grill in three or four years. Gave away his last grill. Well, my last grill sat back there in the woods for a couple years. Grill mats, yeah, something like that, a grill mat, yeah. Has any of you guys ever used those Teflon grill mats or anything? Because that's one thing, I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm not a moron, even though most people think I am. <laughs> but I'm not gonna put my vegetables right on the grill. I don't wanna have to clean the bottom of that a lot. Damn, it looks nice, brand new. <laughs> so those grill mats, I think, they help with uh, cooking vegetables and stuff. Now, I don't know what it's called, and I don't know if it's Greek or what, but I talked about it earlier, using these, these grape leaves and wrapping them in meat and cheese or whatever. Nice grill. I'm gonna get a grill for my mouth to match that grill. <laughs> but I still have a jar of grape juice from two years ago in my fridge. I don't think it's any good right now pure grape juice i mean i collected whatever grapes i could find from this and i squished the shit out of them took the skins and the seeds which they were supposed to be seedless but they aren't and made grape juice just pure 100 percent grape juice straight from the vine bitter as fuck didn't taste great um but i thought maybe adding sugar to it or whatnot anybody has it any tips on making grape juice. I know someone's gonna say make wine out of it. It's been sitting in my fridge for two years. <laughs> I'm afraid if I open it, it's gonna smell terrible, but it's, it's legit pure grape juice. Um, it didn't taste good to drink on its own though. 
But we'll be training all these. You look how high these branches are already getting. We had a good rain season, not too much. We want all this to grow down along that branch. And my friend who has a dog, I talk about this all the time. He got his backyard with artificial turf and I couldn't grow grass on this spot. So you get a football game going right here. I'm ready to put some lines in there. I know you, someone was going to say to make wine out of it. <laughs> but I don't, I don't know. I don't have the whatever else you need to make it into wine from just regular grape juice. Two parts water, one part grape sugar to taste. So add water to it and sugar. Yeah, Elf, if you look close, Susie. Um, and like I said, I know it's going to happen. Because look, we got a culprit right here. Little damn ant crawling around. What are you doing, Ant? But these grapes already starting to show. If that bee fucking stings me. There we go. There's a good shot of some grapes. They're getting there. Two plants, two great plants. This one who really blew up. Check him out. And over here. Uh-oh, you're gonna get me making fun of soccer again, Elf. This one doesn't do that great, but it's finally getting up there. I call it kickball. I want to use my hands when I play a sport. That's why I do that right there. Dun, dun, dun. I can't dunk on it anymore. But my friend did his yard for his dog and had leftover. And this has got to be $1,000 worth of this stuff. I bought some six mil plastic and laid it down first. I didn't level it off perfectly like it should be. So there are some imperfections. Um, use the pavers to get it down and, and some uh, landscaping pins in between. Man, there's a ton of bugs out today. And my fire pit I just had to fix. The drainage wasn't working that great. So here's, here's how things happen. I come out here to clean the fire pit and I realized it wasn't draining. So I had to build that right there, which underneath those pieces of concrete is a drain. That drain goes all the way out there through that to that final paver, which ended me to start replanting grass there because it wasn't even growing. So like one project turns into two projects, turns into a third and a fourth. And there you have it, folks. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Let's go take a walk to the woods. What do you say? What do you say? My little oasis. I wish I could invite all you guys and gals over and we could have a cookout here. Talk about our channels. Oh, I make fun of soccer because you can't use your hands. And I call it kickball. And say that football is the real football and piss off all the Europeans. <laughs> I know you coach, you're a big soccer head. I mean, it's a tough sport. Hockey and soccer are tough, but I'm just not a huge fan of either one. Proud of my grass. I'm really, you know how when you're younger and people are like, oh, I'm proud of my grass and my lawn. I never thought I'd be so proud of my grass. But however, here's the problem. My neighbor over there takes real good care of his grass. And then the problem is these sons of bitches do not. As you see, that's their shed where the groundhog lives under. And they just cut their grass last week for the first time this year. So normally that shit's like a foot high. So and all the weeds, all the bullshit from their yard comes into mine. So when I treat my yard, it doesn't work as well. But not a lot of weeds, mostly grass. That's why I'm so hell-bent on making this piece of grass work. <laughs> and it just hasn't been growing. I do have a jealousy spot over here in my neighbor's yard. Well, obviously the pool which when they go on vacation, they let me take care of their pool and that's free swimming. But yeah, how about this? How about that for a chill spot? Oh, a bird just fucking pooped on me. Are you kidding me? Look at that hammock. Tell me you don't want to lay in that hammock right now and chill. If you tell me you don't, you're a lying sack of shit. <laughs> Especially on a nice, gorgeous day like today. Tell me, that, that, you know what I mean? Like, I'm jealous of the hammock. I'm jealous of the pool, obviously. But you got a pool that they take care of, and it's real nice. And over here, they got a pool that they didn't take care of for 10 damn years. But yes, I've done this before on my streams. Uh, I like to do it because it's very unique. I live in the city. Yeah, boot, bird got me right in the wrist. Just barely. I got pooped on, people. Not in a fun, good way, with a hot chick. <laughs> no, no. So I was gonna do running water in between, but it didn't think it would work. Um, 
it ended up me just scooping water out of these two pools, plastic pools, every year for a bunch of times. It's terrible. Good luck if I got pooped on a bird. Okay. But yeah, woods back here. We came back here one of the first days of spring and saw a flower or two. But so living in the city, but also, yeah, goddess, I would love to do a little video. I was, I don't want to say I was afraid. I just didn't really feel that anybody would give a shit about the garden and what I do. But I also realized I started to see garden streams and novices and people learning as they go. But I bought, I bought everything but the pump for that. Um, and if I would have bought the pump, I could have had that going. And maybe had some fish in it, but the way it was working up front, I didn't think it would work. Pretty unlucky if a bird shits on you, yeah. <laughs> like I say, it barely got me, so it wasn't too bad. I'm just going to have a stream laying in their hammock one day. <laughs> Take one more pass up here. I'll do the rest of the lemon thyme. Coming up on an hour, about as much. You change it every year as far as the rocks and stuff, but now the deer are using it to drink. Well, that would be cool if the deer would come drink. Garden video number two update. Everything's in the dirt. What's going to live? What's going to die? And that's what this video is about. We're all learning as we go. I never knew what I was doing either. Just trial and error. See if I can get a good shot of the mountains. Sometimes during the day it'll do. Fertilize. I used to use mushroom compound. I gotta get this driveway sealed this spring. But here's the beautiful part. I don't know if you guys see the mountains back there. If you look really, really close, there's a big white cross in the mountains. I don't know if my zoom will pick it up. Lilies. I don't know if you can see the cross or not. There it is. You look close enough right between those power lines. You see the big white cross up there? Huge, huge white cross up there. It's a, in the mountains. There's a retreat up there. That's where that cross is up the top of the mountain. Pretty wild. I dream where I went to that cross and a bunch of other places up in the mountains. If you guys look at the playlist that has all my other than wrestling streams. Oh, I'm getting shaky. So I did, I did change the dirt a lot first. You could have dr driven by my place, who knows? I'm on a little off road, but still a main road. And there you go. Trucks, you ever want dunked on? Come here, I could dunk on you. <laughs> the grapevine in full effects, so I grow well. Fire pit, all lonely. That's why I burn all my garbage. That's burnable. Garden's growing big right there. The G from the goal line of my high school football stadium, of course, for garden. <laughs> and we unveiled the old grill. Right next to my herb garden. There you have it, ladies and gents. Hit the hour mark. Another hour. There's a bird. No groundhog footage, though, Elf. I'll have to work on that. Yeah, if you guys go back to the first garden video that's on my channel, go to the garden playlist. Go all the way to the first one. There is a, It's an eight-year evolution of what this backyard started like. And, I mean, it may sound corny, but if anyone tells you you can't do something, this is all done by hand. Most of these bricks were left over. I bought some pavers, bought some gravel. Um, the planters and stuff given to my grandmother from my mother and stuff like that. You know, I did this all myself, basically bit by bit, piece by piece, where this was all grass. 
This was entirely grass before. And now it's a little place to hang out, a little oasis, if you will. The bunnies, yeah, I get bunnies back here too. Yeah, trucks, keep, keep training, my friend, keep training. We make a trip here to Southern Pennsylvania and uh, we'll get our hoop on. Like I said, I normally, the only event I'll have is my fantasy football draft I'll have here. And uh, we don't get to use the outside because you can't really have a bunch of papers for a fantasy football draft outside. All cement, yes, yeah, so you have to mow it. Well, hey, you can do what I did. Find somebody to get you some, uh, look, that looks like grass, doesn't it? That's all artificial turf. It would be kind of cool to throw some football lines on there and play football. It's not big enough. If I was a little kid, maybe. So that's about it for today. I'm going to do a family feud stream again soon because that was fun with you guys. You can see what we did here today. This is what the lemon thyme plant looked like. And there's that Steeler Gnome. He's right here. He's getting beat up, though. He's rugged. Steeler Gnome's hanging with the duckies. But he's protecting the garden along with my bluebird. I do get some blue jays, some cardinals, so um, baseball's finest. <laughs> Lions, tigers, and bears. The blue jays are cardinals. The blue jays are bitches, man. They fight a lot. Cardinals are pretty cool, too. But I'll um, uh, be back with another stream soon. Tomorrow night, I will be live, 8 p.m. Eastern, for some more wrestling. Blue Jays are your team. Well, they should be. You're a Canadian. And you're up, up there. So that's what we got today. Oregano, lemon thyme. We'll dry that out, crumble it up, make spice out of it. And like I said, make an all-spice if you get it all together. You get the thyme, the oregano, parsley, basil. Basil is what I'll grow the most of. Um, I didn't really cover it, but I do have that up on my porch. That'll be the final thing we'll do today. I hope everyone's having a good day, by the way. This is what I wanted. Pineapple sage. Let's keep the demons away, number one, but it smells fantastic. I don't know how people get that stuff to... So a pineapple sage we have here in a planter and three more basil plants that I'll water each day and keep an eye on. And I also notice that they'll start growing to the outside based on the sun. So I will flip them every couple days so they even out. It's about over, my friend. And then right here, my aloe vera plant. And I have to keep it out here because these boogers will eat it. Won't you, boogers? Um, someone answered. That's the baby, Carmel, trying to get out. Messing up my screen. You get caught. And that's Blaze, the namesake. Right, Blaze? What are you doing? My cats always make a cameo here on these shows. And the other one, where are you at? There you are, Parker. What are you doing back there? My three babies. Yeah, that's why my aloe plant is outside. Um, that booger back there kept eating it. And I went downstairs and found dirt next to the aloe plant. And sure enough, there's my cat sitting next to it with a piece of the aloe plant, the culprit, busted. So you go, aloe plant. Then I get to say bye to everybody, Carmel. You gonna say bye? Just gonna claw the screen a little more. And there you have it, ladies and germinals. Thanks for stopping in, enjoying the show here. Got some herbage that we uh, plucked from the planters. Checking on the onions, the peppers, tomatoes, everything else. I appreciate you all for stopping in. I really do. These are fun little streams to have, just to show you what's going on in the backyard. We'll be back with more wrestling, maybe some game show stuff possibly tonight tomorrow who knows just stay tuned make sure you subscribe share it out spread the word let people know what we're doing here on this channel and bring them back bring a friend next time people have a good evening everyone take care 
Basil is my is my savior trucks. That's what I make the most of. I have probably eight or nine containers full of dried out basil in the house, cooking with just about everything. The birds are taking back over since I'm gone, but peace, positive vibes. Thank you all for stopping in. I appreciate y'all. Leave a comment if you're watching by the replay, and I'll see you later on tonight or tomorrow night. Ski in my streams, people. Peace. Positive vibes. I appreciate y'all. You guys are amazing. I love this community. I love everything we do on YouTube, and I love all you people. You're amazing. Have a great night. We are out of here. Peace.